Hey guys, what's going on? I wanted to talk a little bit about the Mastiff today because I've been seeing a lot of people hating on it in the comments, saying that it's ridiculously overpowered now compared to what the Peacekeeper was, and essentially that it's just a better EVA 8. Now in the future I am going to make a video comparing side by side exactly every aspect of the EVA 8 and the Mastiff, but in this video I just wanted to answer the question, is the Mastiff overpowered? And we are going to have to do a little bit of comparing to the EVA 8, but not nearly as in-depth as I'm going to go in that future video. That's going to require quite a bit of research that I am willing to do, but that I just haven't had the opportunity to do quite yet. So let's get into things. We're first going to have to look at the actual stats of the Mastiff. So I have a snippet of the patch notes in front of us right now. And you can see that the damage per pellet was reduced from 8 to 13. And the headshot multiplier went from 2 down to 1.25. There was an increased blast pattern for outer pellets. And an increased ADS multiplier. And a reduced fire rate. However, the part that really gets me is that they increased the number of shells from 4 to 6 before you have to reload and increase the projectile speed. I think as far as the damage per pellet, I think Respawn did a really good job of bringing that down. However, the EVA 8 only does 7 damage per pellet, which is significantly less than the Mastiff, like significantly less. So as far as that aspect goes, I'd either like to see the Mastiff get a slight damage nerf, maybe down to 11 damage per pellet, or even giving the EVA 8 just a tiny bit of a buff, maybe make that like 9 damage per, per pellet for the EVA 8. Just because I can really see a lot of people's points when they say that the Mastiff is just a better EVA, because what separates the Mastiff and the EVA from the Peacekeeper is that the two of them have very little rechambering time. And what I mean by that is, after you shoot the Peacekeeper, there's a rechambering animation, whereas the Mastiff and the EVA 8 are semi-automatic. The headshot multiplier, I think, is in a really good place right now. For anybody above white shields, it takes two shots to hit them if you get one headshot in. So I think that's in a very fair place. For a lot of guns, actually, hitting a headshot is only two, sometimes even one shot, um, if you look back on the wingman from last season. So I think this is right where Respawn wants it to be, and honestly, I'm pretty happy with that. The best aspect of the Mastiff that I think the devs really, really nailed is the blast pattern distance. So when you shoot the Mastiff, it has a huge horizontal spread. However, by putting muzzles on it, you can narrow that spread up a little bit but i think the devs did a really really fantastic job with spreading out the pellets so that it's a little bit harder to hit those high damage shots unless you're really up close however the two things that i absolutely would change are the shell counts and the projectile speed when they increased the shell count from four to six they essentially gave the mastiff the power to squad wipe an entire squad with blue shields without having to reload if you hit all six of your shots which is really 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 overpowered in my opinion the reason that i believe that the devs nerfed the peacekeeper in the first place reducing it from six shots in the chamber to five is because they wanted to force the players to have at least one reload during fights and they kind of took a little bit of a step backwards with the Mastiff, in my opinion, giving it six shells. I think that's really where it's a little bit overpowered. It just has too many shots before you have to reload. And I think the projectile speed is a little bit fast. While it does have the same speed as the other shotguns, I think that for the Mastiff, just because of the nature of it and how high hitting it is, and just how much carnage you can wreck with it up front i th really think that it should be a little bit slower than the other shotguns i think there should be some kind of trade-off because there's no reason to pick up an eva 8 right now and i mean that in all seriousness if i were given the opportunity to pick up an eva or a mastiff i wouldn't even think twice about picking up the mastiff because as we've reviewed here 
and as I'm going to go into more detail in a future video, the Mastiff is basically a better EVA. Now, granted, the spread is a little greater, but just throw a muzzle on there or something and you will be golden. So let me know what you guys think. That was kind of just my my thoughts and reflections on the Mastiff after having used it for about 100 games. So I want to know what you guys think. Do you think that it's just a better EVA? Do you think that it's better than the Peacekeeper was when the Peacekeeper was a regular weapon? That's going to be it for this video though. I will be live in a little bit, so make sure you come and hang out. We're still in the process of learning Loba. We're going to explore the map a little bit more. There are a couple hatches that I want to find to maybe make a video about. So come on down. I'll see you guys then. But until next time, take it easy.